Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below. Hi, right, welcome back, YouTubers and Madden fans. This is Mad Money Shot, sniffing out the Madden cheese as always. I got some plays for you today out of the Bills playbook. This is part two of one of my uh, more favorite formations that I found here um, out of the uh, the single back doubles north. I'm pretty sure that this formation is in the Packers. It might be in the Cardinals or the uh, Falcons. I'm not really sure. Let me know. Let everybody else know uh, in the comment section whether the playbooks I can find that. If you guys would, uh, that'd be really great because I'm interested to know. Like I said, I'm pretty sure I saw it in one of the either the Falcons or the Cardinals. I get them mixed up because they're both red color birds <laughs> jerseys you know what i mean so i don't know i'm not 100 percent. but other than that uh like i said i'll pop a link for part one i had a one play touchdown out of the pa rollout and i had a uh, the halfback stretch which is just a phenomenal run so if you guys want to watch that make sure you watch the link or you know check out the link in the description below other than that i'm gonna go ahead and get into two more pass plays today maybe three not really sure but i have two that are really good the third one you know is just just kind of uh you know, it's not as good as the first two. Let's just put it that way. So the first one I'm going to do is the PA inside cross. This particular play uh, is kind of glitchy. So let's go ahead and let's pick that. Uh, we'll just keep going. There's two tight ends in this set. So we're going to go random 4-3. So this play here is pretty much a, sing a single read play. Uh, what I'm really going to try to do is I'm going to try to work the route that Thompson's running um, to the sideline. I mean, this play like this as it's designed is not too great, but if I motion him over uh, against mostly cover threes, cover fours, this looks like a man, which it should still work. Um, it's going to get open pretty immediately to the sideline. Now, I forgot to do one thing. You definitely want room to catch and run. So I'm going to move the ball over here. So now that I got everybody on the sideline, uh, I'm going to go ahead and motion over Thompson. Uh, the guy follows, so it looks like we have a, like a safety man blitz coming. So my first read is immediately is going to be the circle route. That's going to be the quickest. I'm going to have to take away um, this. This uh, I'm going to cancel the uh, play action because that's going to get in the way. But this is a, a really quick single read play. Uh, other than that, for a check down, Clay putting him in a slant. You're going to see I have a nice flood concept now between Benjamin Clay and the circle route. And uh, Clay's probably your second read. He'll get open quite a bit, kind of in between what uh, circle and. Uh, and Benjamin are doing so we're gonna go ahead we're gonna run this make a really quick read throw it in the guy's break and you can see how that's just an easy five yards easy pitch and catch and you can see I picked the Patriots I definitely wanted to give this team I mean the Bills receivers stink but I definitely want to give this team um, a really good challenge so nobody would bitch about who I'm going against and the Patriots have a really great uh, Madden secondary so we're gonna go we're gonna do this again this looks like what might be a cover four I'm not really sure but you can see how um, how far back the coverage is the second that gets open I mean, like I said, this is an instant open look. Like I said, I'll show you what Clay looks like too. Clay's a really good option. Here's a man, man. This this will beat man if you throw it uh, at the right time, right when he makes that break. I mean, he just he just plays off. That was a horrible throw, but you can see he was there. Yeah, this is this is a really good man route too. So we'll see if the guy follows here. He does not. Looks like a cover four, if I had to guess. Oh, I didn't even make my adjustments all the way, but it was a cover four. So for people that have issues with these cover four noobs, here's a really good play to put an end to that. This quick outside route. I'm hoping to get some man coverage because, like I said, this is a really good play against man. Looks like we got a cover two now. Cover two, like I said, the read to me would probably be clay. If it's like a hard flat or something, that circle route might get jumped. As you can see there, it actually did. He still kind of beat it. I'm just kind of seeing how far off he plays. That um, that angle that Thompson takes is just, you know, it just it just beats most things. Like I said, make sure you cancel this play action because it's all timing. It's quick. That play action can really get in the way. I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna try to hit some of these other guys. You can see here that was not the best window. I probably should have thrown it to somebody else. <coughs> so here it looks like we got a cover three. So I know Thompson's probably gonna be the guy. And he cover three or cover four, this guy's gonna beat it right away. Look at that, he's just wide open. I could actually wait it. I threw that probably quicker than I needed to. He could have had even more space. I'm just so used to throwing this so fast. Uh, but like I said, I want to show this tight end off a little bit. Benjamin's not too bad either. I mean, he might be better against like a man coverage. Uh, some of these man blitzes you see, but realistically, it'll take a bit for him to get um, to get open. I don't know why he didn't catch that. That was nonsense. But yeah, Benjamin, I don't know if it's because he's so slow in that spot, but it'll definitely take a, a good minute um, to get uh, that guy open. So here we got a man. Like I said, I'm going to keep an eye on that. I mean, you see how he just, you know, it just, I don't know, man. It just, I don't know why he's not catching it either, but for whatever reason, it's just really working out. Um, you can see how, I mean, Malcolm Butler, I'm pretty sure he's a man corner. 
Uh, but this is just such a glitchy setup that it just it just beats it. And then the Bills, I mean, this is a horrible Bills receiving court. So I keep talking bad about it. They are, man. They, they need a receiver big time. So it looks like we're going to get a touchdown here. I think I'm going to end it on that and move on. He said, every one of these plays, I said this in video one, every one of these plays use the exact same motion, so your opponent's never really going to know what's going on. So we're going to go ahead, we're going to end this video, part two, on uh, the wide receiver corner. I love this play. I will go ahead and pick that. This has pretty much every cheesy concept that pro gamers use <laughs> in the same play. So we're going to go ahead, we're going to pick the, we're going to pick, uh, I'm not my bad, we're going to pick random. We'll go random 4-3. Like I said, when I say this uses every cheesy concept that pro gamers use, I'll go ahead and I'll show you every one of them right now. For one, you got the corner strike concept on the right side, which is a pro staple. Uh, the other side you have, um, what the triangle and circle route are doing, you can easily turn that into the bench switch by putting O'Leary into um, into an, an out route, or you can put it into, uh, you can put him on a streak, and I forget the name of the play, but it's in the deuce close that a lot of pros use. That's another one um, that's really popular. So you really have uh, all of these options that you your disposal and then if you do the motion like i prefer to do the motion uh and put uh, the circle route into a flat route now you have uh whatever for whatever reason this circle route is so cheesy it just gets wide open uh which is not a pro staple this is something that i've come up with and i've used in several plays uh i can't say i've seen too many other people doing it but it's definitely one of my favorite adjustments so it's really up to you i mean if you're if you want to be in the center and use both sides you can i'm all the way to one side but it's really, you know, you just read your defense and you read your keys. Like this here looks like it's probably a cover three if I had to guess. So we're going to go ahead. We're going to do the uh, the uh, corner strike concept, make a guy miss, and then we got a wide open touchdown. So to me, because of this play's versatility, this looks like a cover three, so I'm going to read. O'Leary up the seams a good cover three beater. So since this is so versatile and it can do so many different things, um, to me, this is just, it's a perfect play. I mean, you, you basically have everything you need every cheesy concept in one play. This looks like a cover four if I had to guess. So we're gonna do, uh, it was not, actually it was a cover four. So, I mean, that's, so that C route just beats just about everything it seems. So whether you leave the play like this or you decide to motion over Thomas, uh, because like I said, motioning Thomas every time at least gives away the defense. So here I know I got what looks like a cover three if I had to guess. Uh, every time I got a cover three, this guy is just wide open for an easy 10 yards in the flats. I mean, it's just a phenomenal play. Phenomenal formation. I just I just love formations that look like this. I put out something out of the Raiders that was very close to this. Here, now we motion the guy over. We know we got a man coverage. So if I'm running, I mean, that flat's not going to beat a man. So I could always put him on a slant back the other way or something. Keep him in that position and then try to float it up to my man, Calvin Benjamin, who is so goddamn slow. But you know what? That's not his game, man. His game is going up and getting that ball. Uh, but if it was a speed receiver there, he probably wouldn't have gone. So that's it. Two more plays uh, from a really, really good formation. I, I would, I'm, I'm probably going to check some other formations to see if they have any more good plays. I know I did something like this out of the Packers, and they had a phenomenal play out of this that's not in this this playbook i think they might have had a screenplay out of it too but uh, that was one of my more favorite ones that was like this anyway uh but if you guys want to do more me to do more bills like i said i have a nice glitch formation that i want to put out uh do me a favor hit the like button i'll do that other than that thanks for watching man my shit out